Welcome to video 19, how to complete a firmware upgrade on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Hi, I'm Dara Zook, Senior Trainer, and this is video 19 where we'll have a look at how to upgrade your firmware on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. Now, firmware upgrades uh, with some manufacturers can be very uh, chaotic. Um, what we found with Yaystar is that the firmware upgrades that they release uh, are stable. Uh, we haven't had any uh, issues at all with them. And so we recommend uh, at Helia uh, that you keep on top of your uh, your firmware upgrades. They do release new features, they do release new support for new phones, uh, and always have a look at the release notes whenever you do a firmware upgrade so that you understand what will change uh, when the firmware update happens. Uh, we're going to jump in and see how those, uh, those updates uh, are installed on your Yaystar S-Series phone system. But before we do, uh, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada. In addition for that, I've got a coupon for you at the end of this video for our online store, and that's at www.buyphonesonline.ca. Now, without further ado, let's jump in and see how this is done. Uh, so we're going to have a look at firmware. Uh, what we need to check first is the version of firmware we have. So we're going to click on the resource monitor. You can see here that we're on 30.8.0.14. Now to uh, get to the firmware, we're going to click on the nine dots, and then we're going to go to maintenance. And the first item here is upgrade. Uh, so we're going to have a look at manual upgrade first and uh, upload a, a different version of the firmware. Now Yaystar recommends that you always back up uh, your system before you do the uh, upgrade. Now uh, we do go through the backup and restore procedures in a different video so uh, have a look at our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Uh, now the first choice here is reset configuration. We generally don't want to do that because that's going to erase all of your settings and everything on the system. Uh, there's a couple different ways of doing this. Uh, first is browsing a file locally. Second is a TFT or trivial uh, file transfer protocol server and the last is from HTTP. Now uh, Yaystar does require a bin file. You get uh, the file from the Yaystar website. So if we go here yaystar.com for more uh, downloads and then you can see here uh, 30.8.0.14 you download the file here. Uh, you can see the URL down in the corner. However, that's a zip file. And so you do need to unzip it uh, before you upload it from a TFTP or HTTP or local. Uh, so I've downloaded a, a different version already. I'm going to go uh, to browse and we're going to go uh, find this version. I've got 30.8.0.8 .8 and we're simply going to upload. Now this does take a couple minutes. It's going to upload the file, then it's going to validate the image, and then it's going to load the image and reboot. So while it's doing this, um, I'm going to pause the video. All right, so we've finished uh, rebooting and we can go back to the resource monitor and uh, we're going to, we can see here the firmware version is now 30.8.0.8. .8. So let's have a look at the automatic uh, update. We're going to go to maintenance and then we have our upgrade. Now again, uh, we want to make sure that we've backed up our configuration before we do make changes. Uh, we can check for new firmware. And you can see there is a new firmware 30.8.014. So we can now 
update uh, now. Now, while it's updating, I want to mention something else to you. The system light here is rapidly blinking. Now, when it's uh, normally, for normal operation, the system light down here uh, blinks, and I, I don't know if you can see this in the video. I'm going to move this over here. Uh, the system light here blinks rapidly. Now, under normal operation, that light is blinking, but blinking at a normal rate, and that means the system is operating normally. So when the firmware is upgrading, it's blinking rapidly. You'll also see that my red lights here are solid. When they're solid, it means that I've got an FXO card in here, and I do have one card on port one and two. They're both connected. If they're not connected, those lights are blinking. But what happens is when this firmware is finished uploading, all of these lights will turn amber, uh, and they will stay amber until uh, it's it's about to reboot. Um, and uh, while it's rebooting, all these remain amber. Uh, then they go all off, and then they turn red. And at that point, I find that the uh, system, you can go into the web interface again. So uh, I'm going to pause this video, and we will uh, come back when we're finished rebooting. Okay, so the system has finished rebooting. We're going to go to the resource monitor and have a look, and you can see it's 30.8.0.14. Uh, so that was video 19, where we had a look at uh, doing firmware updates on your Yaystar S series phone system. In video 20, uh, we're going to look at accessing files directly on your Yaystar S series phone system using FTP. You'll find video 20 on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash Helia Canada. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our, our channel. And that way, as we add new videos, uh, you'll get a notification as they come out. Uh, also, I'll mention to you that I have a coupon for you at the end of this video on our online store, and that's at buyphonesonline.ca. So please check that out. I'm Darzuk with the Helia Technology Report. Thanks for watching.